This is Portugal. It has about 10 million inhabitants. Portugal has a 900-kilometer coastline along the Atlantic Ocean. This is the Algarve region. Currently receives over 12 million tourists every year, coming from all over the world. It is responsible for over 16.4 million sleepovers. That is 36% of the national total and a revenue of 5 billion euros per year. Tourism is the most important activity in the Algarve and it is responsible for 60% of all jobs in the region. According to Turismo de Portugal, statistics show that nature and activities related to it amount to 69% of the reasons why tourists visit the Algarve. After all, 40% of the region is classified as a protected area by the Department of Conservation of Nature and Forests. However, the previous governments have resumed incentive campaigns to explore petroleum and natural gas. After the tender published, these companies have signed contracts granting these areas in Portugal. In the Algarve, companies such as Eni, Gal, Port Fuel, Repsol and Partex hold eight areas of exploration, two on land and six at sea. There are currently prospect studies and the National Entity for Fuel Markets, the ENMC, estimates exploration will start in the beginning of 2020. What impact will these activities have? Firstly, the prospect techniques, as well as the 3D seismic surveys in the ocean, provoke large quantities of sound waves which directly affect marine animals, with an impact a thousand times greater than an airplane engine. However, and despite the obvious consequences for the environment, the ENMC affirmed on the 12th of January 2016 that to start a prospection, there is no need to have a study of the impact on the environment. During the exploration phase, the impacts may be more severe. The leakage of residue may be catastrophic, as observed in April 2012 in the Gulf of Mexico, when on a BP platform, there was a petroleum leakage for 87 days. The pollutant emissions also increase. Methane, the gas released in the exploration of shale gas, is labeled as being the greenest gas, but it does in fact contribute towards global warming. Lastly, the contamination of the onshore aquifers can happen through a process known as hydraulic fracturing or fracking, as when there is extraction, there may be perforation of the rock reaching the groundwater table therefore opening a path for more than 600 chemicals and natural gas infiltrations. The increase of seismic activity is also related with fracking and is worrying, especially as the Algarve is the Portuguese region with most seismic activity. The Algarve is only one example of what is happening in the rest of the country, in the rest of the world. More information. Pulp.pt